forgot the name of the book. We're off to a good start. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a five star prediction video. I am not going to lie to you all. I have done this video twice on my channel before and both times I won really sucked at predicting my five star ratings and two I didn't even finish all of the books that I predicted would be a five star rating because I was just so disappointed in the way that my rating was going of the books I did choose so I just scrapped it and so now I'm here again with a third attempt and we're going to finally maybe actually complete all of these books and rate them all five stars because I actually feel like I have a pretty good grasp this time around on what I'm actually going to enjoy. So, without further ado, let us get started. So, if you are interested in the other two five-star prediction videos that I did do, I'll leave them down below. The first one, I read four out of the five books, and the second one, I think I only ended up reading one out of the five. But I do think I gave it like a 4.5 or something like that. I honestly do not remember. But whatever, we're here with five more books, and hopefully this time around we're in tune with our actual feelings towards books. I don't know, we'll see. The first book that I chose that I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, will be a five-star prediction for myself is Blood Spell by CJ Redwine. This is a fairy tale retellings. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I am a sucker for fairy tale retellings. This is a retelling of Cinderella. This follows a girl named Blue who has been trying to hide the fact that she has magic in her blood for a very long time. She takes metal and turns it into gold to try to help the homeless in her community. But then her father is murdered and a very cruel woman takes custody of Blue and all of her possessions. The only person who is able to help her is the person who she has hated for her entire life, who just so happens to be the prince. The prince is newly returned from boarding school and he finds out that he is expected to take a bride and announce his betrothal to the kingdom. So when Blue enters his life once again, he is very surprised to find out that she may actually be the one that makes him happy. Disappearances start happening throughout their kingdom and Blue and Kellen need to work together in order to figure out what is happening. They discover some very troubling things and take a look into their past together and it's like the story of that. But like I said, fairy tale retelling, also enemies to lovers, also forbidden love. I'm here for it. I think I'm gonna really like it. This is like the fourth book in the Raven Spire novels companion series. I really enjoyed the first threes. The first one I gave a 3.5, the second one I think I gave a 4, and the next one, the third book, I think I gave a 4 or a 4.5. So maybe this is the one that's gonna bump it up to a 5. We'll see, but hopefully that's the case. The next book I chose is solely based off of the author because I loved their other book so so much but it is 99% Mind by Sally Thorne. She wrote The Hating Game which I gave five out of five stars so we're hoping that that just kind of like translates to this book as well. I also think I'm really going to like this because it's like a brother's best friend romance which I am like kind of living right now in my own life because my boyfriend is my brother's ex best friend's younger brother so I mean like it kind of is in the same realm so I just think I'm gonna be like feeling a lot of similarities with Darcy and Tom. Is that actually going to be true? We don't know. We'll have to read the book. I do know that a lot of people said that this one is not as good as The Hating Game so I'm hoping that I'm going to be like in the minority and actually really like this but I guess we'll see. Next up, I chose a thriller. I tried to choose like different genres, not just all thrillers because I know that I really like thrillers and I usually rate them pretty highly. So I tried to pick a little bit differently. Uh, that made me realize that I don't have any sci-fi on my shelves. Lots of fantasy, no sci-fi. So this is my thriller pick. It is Hangman by Jack Heath. I have had this on my shelf for so long. The author actually sent it to me and I just never actually picked it up, which I don't know why because I remember being so excited about the synopsis and now that I've read it again, I concur. I am still 
very excited about the synopsis. This follows an FBI investigator who is working on a case where a boy goes missing and his frantic mother gets a ransom call saying you need to pay this amount of money or else. And so Timothy Blake, who is the FBI investigator, has a cost to his services. He's very good at what he does, but he has a cost. The cost is that when he saves a life, he is allowed to take a life because he has psychopathic tendencies. So it's his way of, you know, getting rid of those tendencies while still following the law because he doesn't want to break the law. So he gets called to do his services. So I'm hoping that the little boy is found and somebody bad dies, but I just think that the premise sounds really cool. And then he also has to work with somebody from his past and he's also hiding some secret, which I don't know what bigger secret there can be than I like to kill people. People, but you know I guess we'll see. It also says that it is very good for fans of Dexter which I was a huge fan of that show. It's also coming back so I'm very excited because that ending don't even get me started on it. That's a whole nother video but I just think that this one is going to be really good. I'm really really hoping I like it because you know we love psychopathic serial killers on this channel, which is weird, but we do. Next up is my fantasy pick. I'm actually very excited about this for several reasons, but it is a dark and hollow star. This is by Ashley Shuttleworth, and I honestly don't really know that much about it other than it's set in Toronto, which is very close to where I live, so I just think that it's going to be cool to be able to see everything that, you know, I know. And then it's also fairies, which I love me some fairies, and it's sapphic. So it's also like based on revenge, which I also really like reading about. I just think that it has a lot of elements that I'm really going to enjoy. So I predict five stars, but I've been wrong in the past. So I guess we'll have to see, but hopefully we're right on this one because I really want to love this and rave about it. I honestly haven't seen a lot of people talk about it on booktube. I've seen people call it and say they're excited for it, but I've never seen anybody actually read it. So I have no idea what people's thoughts are. And the next book I chose is solely based off of me reading The Kiss Quotient, the first book in the Companion series, and loving it so much, gave that one a 4.5 or a 5, can't remember, but very highly rated. And it is the second book, The Bride's Test. This follows Kai, who was in the first book, but not like a big part of it. It's kind of the same plot line where the person with autism believes that they're not lovable, blah, 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 not true, and they end up finding love. But in this case, Kai has autism. He believes he is not lovable and cannot be in a relationship. His mother is desperate for him to find love. So she goes to Vietnam to find him a mail order bride. She finds a girl named Esme and brings her back to America where Esme is supposed to seduce Kai. Her plans don't go as she expected as Kai still does not think that he is lovable, but the problem is, is that now Esme has fallen head over heels for Kai, so she is going to make him fall for her, and I just think that it's gonna be a good time. Like I said, I really liked the first book, so I'm just assuming I'm going to really like the second book because, you know, it's the same author, same kind of concept. I know that a lot of people who really liked The Kiss Quotient really liked this one as well. Like, it's not like a The Hating Game 99% Mind situation where one is clearly better than the other, so I'm hoping that I'm one of those people, but again, we will see. Alright everybody, so that was my five star predictions, round three technically, even though we didn't complete the first two. But if you combine the first video and the second video, I did technically finish five books between the two videos, so I kind of did complete it. We like to cheat on this channel. We should all be used to it by now. Let me know down below which ones you think I should read first, if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!